Hi everyone, um, so following on from uh, the video I filmed of the introduction into phonics, this is the first video in a series of um, letter sounds. So um, in this video we will be learning the sound S and um, I will go through the teaching of the sound S, the grapheme formation and some tips and tricks to remember it. Um, and then some ideas to um, practice knowledge and apply knowledge to. So, let's get started. Our sound is s, s. It looks like this. Its capital letter is S, S. Our grapheme looks a bit like a slithery snake. And it's funny we should say that because our Jolly Phonics song is about a snake in the grass and our Read Write Ink formation phrase goes like this. Slither down the snake. So, to make sure that we know what that sound is, let's say it in a couple of different ways. Can you say the s sound really, really Can you say it a little bit louder? S Can you say it really loud? S <sighs> Great. Can you say it lots of times, quickly and short? S -s 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 -s. Can you stretch the sound out? S -s -s -s. Really good. So, the action from Jolly Phonics for us is like a snake. S -s -s -s. Um, we'll make sure to link the Jolly Phonics um, song so that you can learn that and start to sing that, because that's a great one. But let's have a look at some things that begin with our sound. We have the s uh, mm, s uh, mm, sun. We have a spaceship, spaceship. We have a st -ar, st -ar, star, and ooh, some smelly, smelly socks, socks, socks. Okay. Now we've introduced the sound, we can move on to practicing that knowledge that we've just learned. So, I have a box down here of lots and lots of different objects, but they're a bit muddled up and I need to sort them out. So, I have got a bin over here, and I have got a sack, a sack, a sack. I would like to work out which of my objects begin with my s sound to put inside my sack. If they don't begin with a s sound, I'm going to put them in the bin. I don't need them. I just want objects that begin with s to go in my s, s sack. So, I've got a few here in my box. I'm going to have a little look. Oh, I can see some. Ooh, smelly, smelly socks. Socks. Have a listen to the first sound in that word. Socks. Does it begin with a s or s sound? It does! So I'm going to put my smelly socks in the sack quickly because they're a bit stinky. Oh, in they go. Next, I'm going to go for this one. Oink, oink. It's a p ig. Pig. Pig. It's a pig. P -p pig. P -p pig. Hmm. I think that begins with a p -p -p. I can't hear us in that word. I'm going to put our pig in the bin. In it goes. Right. Next, let me have a little look. <gasps> now, I know my preschool children are still trying to convince me that this is a bolt, and I get their argument, I really do, 
But for the purpose of this video, this is a screw. A screw. Screw. I can hear that sound at the start. Screw. It's going to go in my sack. So in my sack, I have my socks and a screw. In the bin, I have a pig. I've got some more in here. I've got, ooh, interesting. I have got the number one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, six. I think I can hear a s at the start of six, six, six. That's going to go in my sack. Another number. This doesn't look like a six. Need to count the holes. One, two, three, four. 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 That doesn't start with a s. In it goes into the bin. Oh, there's a bit of a scary animal in here. Oh, it's a t -t tiger. T -t tiger. Hmm. That word begins with t, 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 not us. In it goes to the bin. I've got one thing left. And it is hot and it, it is in the sky. It's a s, a, n, s, a, n, sun. Listen. S, a, n, s, a, Mm, sun. It's going to go in the sack. Brilliant. My box is empty. We were able to sort all of those objects into those that began with s and those that didn't begin with s. Well done. Great listening and looking. Now, we've just learnt something new. We've practiced it. Now we need to apply our knowledge. So, there are lots of different ways to practice, lots of different ways to apply. So, for a few examples of practicing and applying, um, you might want to practice some graphene formation. So, here's our graphene here. You might want to get out your magic fingers, your magic pencils, always using a finger from the hand that you write with. I'm left-handed, so I'm using my left finger. And I'm going to go slither down the snake. Slither down the snake. If you want to get a pen or a piece of chalk or something like that, you are more than welcome to. But what we did was we cooked up some slippery, slimy spaghetti and we formed some s graphemes with the spaghetti and it was pretty fun. Other ways that we've applied our knowledge is we have chalked some s graphemes on um, the tuftite or on a wall, we've got some water on a paintbrush and they have uh, made the scruffing disappear with the water. Um, we've also played musical statues where um, once the music stopped, they had a pen in their hands, they danced around, once the music stopped I either held up the flashcard to which if they saw this they made the, the sound, they said or if they saw the hands, they knew they needed to get their hands involved and they needed to form the grapheme on some paper. If they weren't perfect, that was no problem. We're not looking for perfection in grapheme formation at this point in time. Um, some ways to practice your knowledge might be to use some of the games on phonics play. In particular, the smoothie game is a great one because it begins with a S. And um, it's a bit like our sack and bin sorting game. There is a very, very hungry, thirsty hippo who needs you to make him a delicious smoothie. But he only wants a smoothie with ingredients that all begin with the same sound. So you need to do some good listening to sort them into the blender. There's also the pirate game, which your children also really enjoy, where you have to sort some coins into either the bin or into a buried, um, buried treasure chest. Um, that one, if you are wanting to just do words that begin with the same sounds, you'll need to enter your own words because it's working off real versus fake words. But that is also a great game to play if you want to start to, uh, to develop their listening skills to try and work out what is a real word and what's a fake word. If you can't put it in a sentence, 
it's not a real word. Um, also, I Spy is a great game for um, alliteration and listening to initial sounds. So, I hope you enjoyed learning all about our first phoneme and grapheme. I'll see you all soon.